What's up guys, your main man Julian Goldie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to find the best keywords for your website. Now if you want to rank higher, if you want to get more traffic from Google, you need good keywords. So today we're going to dig for keyword gold when it comes to ranking your website on Google and how to find the tricky keywords that no one else can. And if you want to outrank your competitors, this video is for you. If you want to save time creating content for SEO, this video is for you. So that's exactly how I'm going to help you. Now, what I would say is that creating a keyword strategy is kind of like building a house, right? If you don't have the right foundation in place, if you don't have the layers in place to make sure your house is built with a strong foundation, it's going to fall down. And it's the same with your website. If you don't have a good keyword strategy, doesn't matter how good your SEO is, doesn't matter how good your content is, you're just gonna spend a lot of time creating a website that's never gonna rank because you haven't found the right keywords to rank for. And no one's gonna find you if what you're trying to rank for isn't even searched on Google. So that's why keywords are so important. Now, I spoke to a friend the other day and he was like, yeah, I'm gonna start this new website. It's gonna get a decent amount of traffic. I think it's a great niche. Like you. <laughs> I was like, nice one, man. So what's your keyword strategy like? He said, well, do you know what? I haven't even thought about that. I haven't even looked into it. And I would say he was doing things the exact opposite way around. If you are not creating a good keyword strategy before you jump in, before you start trying to rank content, you're just wasting your time. You don't even know. You don't even have, you haven't even tested whether your keywords are gonna rank. So that's exactly what I'm gonna teach you in this video. I'm gonna do this by jumping into my favorite tool, ahrefs.com. Ahrefs.com basically does everything when it comes to SEO. And one of the best things it does right now is keyword research. Now you do have to pay a little bit of money for this, but at the same time, you get what you pay for. And if you're trying to scrape keyword research for free, usually the data is pretty crap, honestly. So that's why I recommend using Ahrefs instead. Let's jump in. See, here we go. Here's a magical place called Ahrefs. And what we're gonna do is sign in like this. We're gonna hit sign in. There we go. Already halfway there, you just have to log in. Next up, you're gonna go to Keywords Explorer. You're gonna select the country you're in. So obviously if you're searching for keywords in the United States, if you've got customers in the United States, you don't wanna be looking in Thailand, right? So let's say I've got a website in the United Kingdom, the ultimate kingdom, as some people call it. And then you're going to type in here Let's say you've got a website about, I don't know, let's say gardening, right? Your website is about gardening. You're trying to find, you're trying to find those beautiful keywords related to gardening that are gonna help you get more traffic, get more sales, get more customers, et cetera, et cetera. What you're gonna do with here is make sure you've got Google selected on Ahrefs, and then you're gonna scroll down and you'll see that it says keyword difficulty 76. That's pretty damn hard, honestly, because this is just a, a, a very broad keyword, gardening. Everyone's going for it. You've got everyone, every man and his dog trying to rank for gardening. So there's no point going after that keyword. But what you can do is dig a little deeper and find other keywords that you can potentially rank for. So this metric, it goes from zero to 100. Zero is the absolute lowest and 100 is the absolute highest. So really, when it comes to keyword difficulty, if you want to rank, the lower the better. If you can find those keywords that are like zero, it's going to make your life much easier. So let's see what we can do here. Now, if we scroll down, we're going to go to matching terms over here. And what you can do on this page is basically filter down matching terms related to gardening that are a bit easier to go for and therefore will save you a lot of time. Because if you come along with your website about gardening and you just try and run for gardening, ain't nobody got time for that. It's just going to be too difficult for you. So what you can do is fill the KD down to a maximum of 10. It's pretty conservative right there. You're going to change the volume to a minimum of 100. Now, what that means is that at least 100 people per month are searching for these keywords. Because if zero people are searching for the keyword, it doesn't matter how good your content is, it doesn't matter how much you spend time creating that content, if no one's searching for it, it's never gonna be found, you know? If you don't put yourself out there, 
no one's going to find you. You're just going to be this invisible man writing about gardening. You don't want to be that. So we've got this list of gardening stuff here. And what we need to do is kind of filter it down a little bit more because you've got 235 keywords, but not all of them are going to be relevant. And there's no point going after a keyword that doesn't even make sense to your business. Okay, so now we're going to find the best keywords because not all of them are good. So if we scroll down here and we're thinking, right, what would I want to rank for? What's good for my business? We can see here that, you know, if you've got keywords like gardening gloves, gardening tools, and you have a website that's selling that sort of stuff, then these are great opportunities for you. You could rank for them. At the same time, things like Gardening Express, that's probably a branded keyword. That's probably a company or the name of a brand. There's no point going after it because you might get into a bit of trouble with copyright rules or you can't outrank the website that's actually about Garden Express. So I would avoid the relevant stuff, you know? So let's keep scrolling down. And what we're gonna do is we can actually save the keywords that we want with Ahrefs. So let's stick to gardening gloves, gardening tools, gardening naturally maybe a good one, ideal world. Gardening leave, see gardening leave is like when people leave their job that's not gonna be very relevant for you. So let's keep scrolling down. We've got gardening boots, that's a good one. Best gardening gloves, yeah, that's good because, you know, if you're selling gloves on your gardening website or you're affiliating with gloves, then you could write about that topic and people who click on that keyword are probably searching and looking to actively buy gardening gloves right now. They wanna get them in straight away. So if you have an article about that and you're ranking number one because it's a low competition keyword, that's when the money's gonna start coming in. Hello, I like money. So if you wanna make it rain, these sort of keywords are gonna be best for you. And you can see as well, that actually when we scroll down the list, 80% of the keywords that you find aren't gonna be relevant to you, aren't gonna be good opportunities. Most of them you need to filter out. So just kind of dig far below the surface, try and find the keywords that you can actually rank for and the ones that are relevant to you. It's like if you were dating, right? If you're dating, not everyone's gonna be the right partner for you. Not everyone's gonna be the right girlfriend or boyfriend for you because there may be people you don't get along with. There may be people you don't find attractive. There may be people that don't find me attractive, right? So you have to kind of search through all the people, all the partners and find the relevant ones for you. And 90 or 80% of the time, most people are gonna be right for you when it comes to dating. Same with keywords. 80 or 90% of the time, most of these keywords won't be right for your website. So you gotta filter them down. And that's pretty much it. That's how you find the keywords. You search for low KD, low keyword difficulty, high volume keywords, and then you just manually sift through and find the ones that are relevant to your site. So that's pretty much it when it comes to keyword research. You now know how to find the best keywords for your website. Now, if you want to get more traffic with SEO, if you want to get more backlinks to your website, then I do run a link building agency. You can find that at juliangoldie.com. Um, and you can actually book in a free call if you want to chat about link building, if you want to chat about SEO, we can talk through the best strategies to do that. No pressure though, if you just want to do it yourself, you can actually just check out all my YouTube videos or even download my free book at juliangoldie.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching.